Megan Cuniff, legal affairs journalist. Thanks so much for joining us on Live Now. Obviously, this is a case that a lot of people have been following, especially given the Netflix documentary and series. Yes, definitely. This is about as high profile as high profile gets for sure. And we are expecting a huge, a huge crowd today for the resentencing announcement. I mean, somebody has pointed out in my comments that we've had announcements about the announcements. There's just been a lot of press conferences about this case, but I think this is the biggest one yet. Yes, no doubt about that. And uh, when it comes to the details here of this case, there's no doubt that the two brothers did uh, commit these heinous crimes against their parents. They admit that part. But uh, now with the uh, new information that is out there, uh, given uh, that there could be allegations uh, that they were sexually abused and uh, by their father and a family member, my question to you, uh, Megan, is, you know, unfortunately in this country, there is a lot of uh, kids and children that deal with a sexual abuse, but they don't kill their parents in, in such a way like this one back in 1989. Uh, what, what is the, 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 the moment here that we are seeing this play out just 35 years later? I, I think what's really going to matter today and what we might hear some emphasis placed on if there is a resentencing hearing is the fact that it has been 35 years and not six months or one year, that they have done a lot of time for this and and that it won't be just a, a slap on the wrist or no punishment for what they did. I expect we're going to see some emphasis on that because there's been a lot of talk about how, I mean, they they were, the, the family members have said that they were abused and, and there's a lot of talk about how that was perhaps unfairly uh, cast in, in, in their trials and that what we know now about sexual abuse is is, is informing the decision I think that's going to be made today. But I do think it's going to be, matter a lot that they have done a lot of uh, substantial amount of time in prison and that th this isn't Joyce just going to be a, a zero punishment for them. And when this case was happening, it was uh, not talked about. It was almost unheard of when you were hearing that uh, teenagers, men that uh, could be the victims of sexual abuse. We all heard uh, that, you know, of the girls and, and the women that could be sexually abused. But for the men, there was a stigma back there in, in 1989, and that could have played a big role in the minds of jurors as well. Yes, definitely, definitely. I think uh, I think all that is going to come into play. And George Gascon, the Los Angeles County DA, who's going to be making the announcement this afternoon, has talked about that in in previous press conferences. So I, I think the the change in what we knew then versus what we know now is definitely coming into play. And uh, the family members who have been petitioning for resentencing and, and release actually have have mentioned that too. So I think all that is coming into play today. And it, I, I want to talk a little bit about the timeline here of it all, because it, it seems like it went very fast after uh, this Netflix series came out, got a lot of buzz, got a lot of people talking, and then you had a documentary uh, come out right after it as well. But um, is any of this coordinated? Because we know that there was uh, celebrities like Kim Kardashian uh, meeting with the Menendez brothers. We know she's uh, very closely knit with Ryan Murphy, the producer of this show. So was there any type of coordination that led up to this moment where it seemed like it was, you know, put out the series and then let's have the DA come out, you know, weeks later on it? I, I do think there's a lot of uh, in-person uh, public advocacy going on and then behind the scenes advocacy. The Menendez brothers are represented by Mark Garrigus, who's a well-known attorney in Los Angeles, who's represented a lot of celebrities over the years. So he he has a savvy knowledge of how to work the media and, and press conferences to his advantage. And it has been pointed out by a, a, other attorneys in LA who are watching this, that this is a re-election year for George Gascon. And this is a, a popular case because of the Netflix series in that all these press conferences he's doing are really maximizing his publicity for this. So I think there's a lot of different factors driving uh, what's going on with the case right now, for sure. And let's just say they do get, uh, let's just uh, put it out there. Let's say they do get the resentencing and uh, that they will be released 
from prison. What does life look like for the Menendez brothers coming out of prison when they spent more time now in prison than they had freedom when they were when they were out before all of this happened? What does life look like for them? I, I think it's a matter of what they want to do. Do, do they want to live a, a public life and do interviews? And just given the uh, who they're who they're working with and the the circumstances of the case, that seems likely that we're going to be hearing from them. But one thing to remember is that the the DA here has the power to make a recommendation, but it's ultimately going to be up to a judge. So we're still, if they do announce that they're moving for resentencing today, there could be a couple steps before we know what's actually going to happen and when there's going to be release but that also gives them plenty of time to to plan what they're going to do and just given what's going on with this case i don't think they're just going to be released and we're never going to hear from them again and lastly uh, there megan uh, we know that uh, there's many family members uh, supporting the brothers there but on the other side of it will there be any um, pushback from others not only in the community uh, but uh, associated maybe in the family as well that says, you know, I don't want them out. So far, that has not been a big public part of the case. And, and really, this has been going on for so long. The first filings and real substantial filings that we saw were last summer. So they've had plenty of time to to speak out against this. And that has not uh, at least managed to overshadow what we're seeing now. Yeah, we'll definitely be uh, watching this all uh, uh, play out today at uh, 430 p.m. Eastern and then 1.30, of course, local time out in L.A. But Megan, thanks so much for giving us a preview of what to expect today in this case that has so many people talking. Absolutely. Thank you so much.